Hey everybody, Cool and Fire here. Uh, welcome back to more Link to the Past. In this part, we're going to be finishing the dungeon. Um, starting off right away in the room we left off. Pull out your Cane of Samaria. So, hands were on the wrong. Ow. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, so now drop a block and then do that. Put it on the little button. And then you can go out here. Let's see if I can get a fairy from this dude. Also, something I didn't know until like, because I recorded this before, but I died on the boss because I was being stupid. Um, okay, check this out. Just, just watch. Okay, now come back here. I'm doing this. No, you won't let me. <laughs> Turns into an onion. I didn't know that before, so kind of like freaked out when I saw it. Oh, hey, I'm gonna get that in the bottle actually. You caught a fairy. This feels bleh. Spell fairy awkwardly. But okay. Go 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 yeah. Mmm. Is there anything that's hiding underneath these little severed heads? Guess not. Yeah, you need to hit that or else, um, these things will go down, so. Now pull out your bombs and then you'll notice this bombable wall. So, you know, let's bomb it. I don't see why we wouldn't. I mean, bomb, you can bomb. Is the phrase I would use. I don't know. Yes, another fairy. I'm getting kind of good at that, using the whole magic thing. I'm not getting very... Gah! Okay. And of course I um, I kind of wasted it, I guess, but... Uh... No. Eh. Die. Son of Satan. Okay. I'll try turning one of those guys into a fairy, and then just using it for my own personal gain and want. No, I need that on. Yes. And if you're wondering why I didn't um yeah, why I didn't just put that in a bottle, it's because I'm empty, in case you didn't notice. No dis. I'm having a hard time with pronunciation. Yay, woohoo, I wonder what could await us in this room. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out. What could it be? That's a giant eyeball surrounded with smaller eyeballs. How do they come up with these bosses? Like, I really want to know. Okay, um, before I start complaining about the bosses and how ridiculous they are, uh, the best way to do this, at least it's easiest for me, is just pull out your arrows and then, um, just shoot away the little ones. And then whenever you can see is like the big eyeball, uh, whenever it starts like coming out of the goop, uh, just run because that's when it's gonna shoot lightning, and that hurts like crap. And I just ran straight into that because it's kind of hard to tell where it's gonna come out of because I mean his eye is facing one way, but it comes out a totally different way, which I don't know if that was supposed to be intended or if it's just like a, some kind of. Ow, I ran into that again. I think. And the uh, less and less eyeballs it has, the more frequently... <sighs> the more frequently it's going to pop out of the goop. I know this sounds very... I don't know how to describe it. I guess. Attractive. Oh yes, what? Now it's gonna start flopping around, and you can't step in the goop. I forgot. And an easy way to kill it is just kinda stand over here and then just let it float to you. It's really easy after you get rid of all the eyeballs. It just hurts a lot if it hits you. Ah, come on, come on. Oh, he just died. 
What? What? I like how they all just... I don't know. The way they just explode. Satisfying, I guess. Alright, we got the crystal. Shwait. We only have one left. I wonder what Fairy Maiden awaits us in here. And I'm not going to do the voice again, because... That just screws up my voice. Makes it crack, and... I'm really digging Link's green mittens. I'm just going to say that now. Cuckoo, because of you, I can't escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Ganon captured us because he couldn't break the seal of the wise men with his power alone. And then, using the wizard Ganon as his power, he drew us to the dark world. After cracking the seal with our powers, he sealed us inside of one of these crystals. He then gave us to his loyal monsters, but Ganon didn't plan on getting this far. Or on your getting this far, should I say. Now, Princess Zelda's waiting for you inside of Turtle Rock. Please hurry. Do you understand? Yes. By the way, the hero lead you to the Rock Force. Now, um, she just mentioned a dungeon called Turtle Rock. That is basically this game's hell. Just because of one room. And if you've ever played this game, you know which room I'm talking about. I am really not looking forward to that. Anyway, um... There's something we can get. Something very useful for the next dungeon. Um... Alright, I'm going to meet you here as, um, Link in the Dark World. So, I will see you there. Okay, and we're back here. Now, if you'll remember, I don't remember if I showed this before, actually. But, this, um, Link's house is now a bomb shop in the Dark World. And after you beat this dungeon, this bomb becomes available. Thank you very much. You can drop this bomb off anywhere. Press the A button. Please don't forget it. Cool. So, now I have to carry this through everywhere and you just like uh, the treasure chest we had before we can't run with it or else it gets left behind ow so we're just gonna be strolling along here I kind of have a lot of time to burn so wait what uh. okay well now I'm just gonna meet you at the pyramid the big one. So I'll see you there, too. And we're back again. Now, you'll see this cracked wall, and you might be thinking... I don't know. What do you be thinking? Anyway, just leave the bomb there. Run over to the screen. Or, run a screen over. Oh, no. Oops. Uh, just drop it. Okay. Just kind of let it explode. Ooh, it opened up a wall. What's inside? Let's find out. It's a fountain. Some more hot fairies that we're gonna find. Um, first of all, I'm just gonna show this. If you throw in your sword, ooh, I can't wait to see what happens. Oh, my God, that is disgusting. I'm kind of tempted to say no. Just because I don't really want it back. I'll say yes. Just because I'm such a brave person. I like an honest person. I'll give her something better in return. <sighs> now we have the strongest sword in the game. And this sword is very cheap. And very, very worth it. Anyway, we can do this again. Throw an item. And we can throw in our arrows. Brace for you brace yourself for the fat, fat lady. I mean, hello there. Did you drop this? Yes, I did. You're not a person to like you. I'll give her something important. There are silver arrows to give Ganon's last moment. Definitely. Oh no, I don't quite have the figure of a fairy. Ganon's got powers to blame. You must defeat Ganon. Oh, I kind of changed the voices there if you didn't notice because I was like. I don't even know what voice I was doing the first time. So, Ganna turned her into a fat lady. Whew. He's evil. I can tell you that much. I'm kind of scared to go fight him. What if he turns me fat? What if he turns Link's sexy body fat? Hmm. Well, we can discuss Link's sexiness in the next part because we are done for right now. So, in the next part, we will be taking on Turtle Rock. Probably, unless something else happens. Um, 
So yeah, if you like this video, please comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next part. Uh, Alright, goodbye.